Good morning and welcome back into Morning Moments with Jesus again today. Today I want to take a few verses and, and form a common thought as we begin to talk about speaking to that mountain that's in your life, whatever that mountain may be, only you know what that is this morning. But God comes with a word this morning that says how you speak and, and how you respond to uh, adversity and the trials that are going on in your life will go a long way into how long you have to deal with that struggle. You know, King David, when he showed up, when the giant was there, everybody was standing around talking about what they couldn't do. But when David showed up on the scene, all he began to talk about was what could be done through his faith and through his God. So today, it's not so much what's going on in your life, it's how you're responding to it that makes all the difference. And the Word, uh, the word of God has a, a lot to say about what comes out of our mouth a lot of times. What we speak is what we hear. And if we speak what we can't do and what can't be accomplished and our weaknesses and our failures and our frailty, when we begin to speak those things, we hear those things. And so we stay sometimes way too long in a struggle, way too, way too long with a mountain in front of us, not because it can't be overcome, not because it can't be conquered, but simply because we keep speaking about what can't happen instead of what should be happening. So today when I read these verses, here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to be I don't want you to spend this day speaking of what's happening to you. I want you to speak of what can happen through you in the power of Jesus Christ. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21. Proverbs 23, verse 7, and then Mark 11, 23, form a common thought this morning that I believe God wants us to hear. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. And for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. That is key this morning, because we start out by saying that what we speak will either bring uh, negative things or death, as, as the proverb says here, but negative things into our lives, or they will bring positive things into our lives, depending upon how we speak. And we will bear the fruit of what we are speaking today. What we speak a lot of times is simply what we're thinking. And here's what the enemy will try to do to us today if we're not careful. He will, he will invest into our mind what cannot be accomplished, knowing it can be accomplished if we would just focus on what God can do through us instead of what He is trying to do to us. And so when you look at your mountain today, whatever that mountain is, just take a moment and call that mountain by name. Whatever that struggle is, whatever that adversity is, maybe it's a, a decision that has to be made, maybe it's a family situation, Maybe it's a caregiver situation. Maybe you're, you're struggling with your children or maybe uh, your marriage. Whatever the case may be, whatever your situation is, it's been painted a picture that it can't be moved. It can't be cast away. It can't be done away with. But God brings you a different word this morning. God brings you a word that it can be removed. But now listen again to Mark chapter 11, verse 23. When several times here, Mark uses the word say, say or saith, which means speaking the word of God, that whosoever shall say to the mountain. So this morning, you need to speak to that situation and say, I shall overcome this. You will not defeat me, that we will make it through this struggle. If you speak that and do not doubt that, but believe it in your heart, then the Word of God says this, that, it sh that you shall believe that these things which you say 
shall come to pass. So I want you to begin to speak what is going to happen instead of what you think won't happen. I want you to begin to speak victory over this situation. I want you to begin to speak deliverance over this situation. I want you to begin to speak positive energy over this situation because the Lord is ready to move on your behalf. You just need to speak life into this mountain situation. So I pray that blessing over you today. I pray you'll take these verses today and I just pray you'll apply them to your heart. And I begin to speak that release this morning in Jesus' holy name over this situation. I pray, pray right now over your home, over your finances, over your job situations, over your family, over your children, over your own personal life that you would walk today in spirit and in truth, speaking the words of life into your mountain situation. As always, I ask that you be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. Be that person today that will speak to that mountain, life and not death. Lord, we will see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, as always, have a great day.